looking to find out more about Moroccan oil products? If you're new to my channel, I'm Mike. I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, I'm going to be going through the best and the worst Moroccan oil hair products. So if you want to find out what I think is good and what's hape dirt, then keep on watching. Moroccan oil. Do you know what? It's one of those iconic brands. Everyone knows the Moroccan oil. Everyone knows the brand. But I have a very love and hate relationship with it. Some products I'm like, oh my God, I love you. And some products I'm like, why? Like, why did you even bring that out? So let me present you with some of the products I love and some of the products I hate and I think are hate for dirt. And hate is a very strong word. I shouldn't be really using that. Now, I'm not going to be mentioning oil itself because when it comes to oil, I have a very... Uh, love hate relationship. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. So I don't think it's good or it's bad. It's all right, it has its good uses, but we're not gonna review it today. So let's start with the products I absolutely love from Moroccan Oil. The first product I'm gonna present you with is Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray. When it comes to texture spray, this is probably my favorite texture spray Ever. It's infused with Moroccan oil itself. It provides lift, hold and grip to the hair. It is absolutely amazing. If you want to get that beachy result, literally spray that into your hair, shake it out and it just has that editorial beachy look to the hair. It's brilliant to spray it into the roots just to give a bit of vava voom into the hair. It's absolutely glorious. If you just want natural movement to the hair, spray it in and it's just gonna give you that texture. It's literally a texture spray and it does what it's supposed to do. So when it comes to texture sprays, I absolutely adore this product. My second favorite product from Moroccan Oil is Curl Defining Cream. When it comes to products for curly hair, Moroccan Oil knows what they're talking about. Both this and the other product are absolutely amazing. They define the curl, they hold the curl, they give a shape and control the frizz without making the hair crunchy. Now for any of my clients with curly hair, this product is hands down the best. Out of all the products I've tried for curly hair, this is the one that I absolutely love the most. Do you know what? If you've curly hair and you haven't tried this, you need to try it. It is brilliant, it's gonna give you hold, texture, but it's not gonna weigh it down or it's not gonna make it greasy. And what's so amazing about it, it is a cream-like in texture, but it's not gonna make it greasy. And the cream is just absolutely brilliant. So whatever formula is in it, it just does wonders for your curly hair. So when it comes to curly hair, no, no, Moroccan oil, you got it. My third favorite product from Moroccan oil is Luminous Hairspray in Medium. And why did I say medium? Because medium is my favorite. The extra strong is way too strong, but the medium is absolutely amazing. I would say it's probably my favorite hairspray on the market, if I could say it. Now it is rather pricey, but the smell of it, oh my God. It doesn't smell like hairspray. And even when you spray it, do you know sometimes when you get hairspray like El Net or one of those, you spray it and you can nearly taste the product in your mouth? With this one, you're not gonna get that. It's just absolutely glorious. It's non-sticky or non-flaky, so it's not gonna build up on the hair. You can brush the hair really easily with it. And I just absolutely love it. And the medium is just perfect hold. Cause like that, it doesn't look like you've hairspray on it. The alcohol amounts in it are very low, so it doesn't give you that crunchy, sticky result, but it is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. My last favorite product from Moroccan oil, now when I say last, I like a lot more, but a last in my top four is Dry Shampoo by Moroccan Oil. Boom, we got it. Dry Shampoo, just like your texture spray, it's absolutely amazing. Do you know what I love this for? It's actually session work. So even if you're going out or you're wanting that icy white look, literally spray that into your hair and it's just gonna give you that amazing light look and result. So it come in light tones for your blondes and brown for your brown tones. It is UV protect and it will absorb oil, odor and build up on the hair. So it does everything you want it to do. And what makes this dry shampoo so different to every other dry shampoo on the market, well, we're talking about like Babyliss and everything, this dry shampoo doesn't contain talc. And like we know, talc isn't a great ingredient when it comes to your skin and hair. So props to you Moroccan oil, because you slayed yet another great product. Now, 
Let's talk about some products that I think are absolute hate of dirt. Some products that I just don't get when it comes to Moroccan oil. And I want to get because it's a, such an amazing brand and those products are just a no-no to me. So let me present you with my four worst products by Moroccan oil. The first product that I absolutely dislike by Moroccan oil is Moroccan oil shampoo. Now, I do hate every single shampoo except the clarifying one. The clarifying one actually is very good because it does cleanses the hair really, really well. But the rest of the shampoos, oh no. Moroccan oil for the price that they are. Like I know they have Moroccan oil in it, but what else is in it? Now, I don't like the smell. They're very heavily perfumed. Like the smell, even when you're washing someone's hair at the basin, it's like, ooh, I just don't, it, no, it's just, no. The smell is a no-no. The texture, it is very thick. Now, the product is very concentrated, so you need a tiny bit of it. But I didn't actually found any benefits of this product in anyone's hair. Like hydrating, it was hydrating. But it was not in like your Keristas or your Siri Expert or Shumera. Like it, the technology is just not there for me. And like that, I just think it's very overpriced. So yeah, sorry Moroccan oil. The next product I dislike and it breaks my heart is Moroccan oil conditioner. Now, when it comes to the conditioners, I just don't like them. I find them rather heavy. I find them not great on the hair. Like that, their smell, they, it's just too strong for me. And for the price that they are, like I mean, the shampoos are paraben free and all that and sulfate free but I mean conditioner, it, like it is color safe and like that it says sulfate, prospate and paraben free um, there shouldn't be sulfates in a conditioner because conditioner shouldn't ladder up so Moroccan oil, you're lying to your customers packaging is nice but when it comes to conditioner for the price that you're paying there's so many better products out there on the market sorry another product I think is a hape dirt is Moroccan oil hydrating cream. I believe this is meant to be a cream version of the oil. I don't see it. Like that, the smell just doesn't do it for me at all. It's, it's too strong. Like it nearly puts you off. Some people adore the smell of it. I don't like it. Like it's good in small amounts, but when it comes to this, it is very empowering. And I found it really, really heavy on the hair. Like I don't see the purpose of this product. It is a hydrating cream you're meant to blow dry into the hair but you literally need a small amount and if you put too much your hair will just go so lank. So to me this product is a big big no-no. Right, the last product I think is a hate of dirt from Moroccan oil is Glimmer Shine. I do love a good shine spray but this is literally an oil in the bottle. You might as well get a kitchen oil and just pour it over your hair. Like if you put too much of it, if you put it too close to the scalp, if you don't put enough of it, it's literally just so slippy and slidey and oily looking. And the floor is literally a hazard. The floor, you could literally slip. So no, I don't like this product. And I do love a good shine spray, but this just didn't do a cough for me. Now, if you want a really nice, oily, wet look, maybe this is for you. But for me, I think it's dirt. Anyways, guys, when it comes to Moroccan oil, I love it and I hate it. But just like with any brands, there's gonna be good ones and bad ones. And like that, this is my opinion and my opinion only. And I'm entitled to it. I hope you found this film rather interesting, useful and helpful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my other social media. And of course, guys, please take care. Bye.